What's good guys, welcome back to the channel. So today uh, is a lovely day. We're at a local football club where we're gonna be upgrading the tails. Um, so at the minute, I think they're 50s. We're gonna be taking them up to 150s and it's basically, they've had another training pitch uh, installed and they've got a load more demand. So they spoke to the DNO and the DNO wants to upgrade to 250 amps and they'll only do so via some 150 tails, which is a bit excessive, but they've got a designer who's worked all that out and been to site. Um, so yeah, it's also quite packed in the trunk in, so I don't know if they've accounted for the for the heat and, and the fact that it's really, really packed in the six inch trunk in by upgrading the tails too. So um, yeah, either way, we're gonna make them aware of that because we're not sure if they're aware. Um, we're just here to do the work today. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be heat shrink, hydraulic crimpers, uh, all sorts of, you know, big lugs and stuff. So real, real cool video. Try to show you as much as I can. We are on a tight time frame. Um, so yeah, he's turning up, I think about eight. We've got to get it done by about midday and then he's gonna come back and re-energize. So yeah, we've got to crack on. Um, but yeah, before we get into the video, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe and hit that bell button. Really, really supports the channel and what I'm trying to do. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Just got all set up, um, got the hydraulic crimper out. This is a new one from SWA, our last one. Um, the hydraulics burst and started leaking fluid, so you grab this one. I know everyone's gonna say um, to get a claw or whatever, but um, this gets shared between about 15 blokes, so, and it gets abused. <laughs> um, so yeah, we ain't got, um, not gonna be buying two, two grand crimpers for that to happen. But yeah, we're all sort of set up. This is our hole for the day. Um, so yeah. Incomer there comes around in some really small trunking and into the bottom of this MCCB panel. So at the minute they're 70s. Um, we're going to 150s. I think there's uh, either 100 or 150 amp fuses in here. I'm not too sure. Uh, 160s, but yeah, we um, we need to go to 250, and the DNO have specified 150 mil tails. So it's going to be real, real tight. We are going to make them aware of this, um, just because we're just finding this out how tight it is. We are here to just do the job, um, and obviously there's tails in there already. I don't know if they've been rated accordingly as well, but yeah, that is obviously at maximum capacity. Trunking should never be filled like that, but it's real world, so. Yeah, it is what it is. We're going to um, yeah get them in and we'll just put a note on that um, for the guys in the office who do the certification and stuff and recommend a trunking upgrade um, or divert any a lot of these cables into the tops or something. But it's major work, so as you can see. Um, there's a lot of circuits. So, yeah, it's probably not how I would have done it, but um, it's not very future-proof because everyone's just going to use that and abuse it. But, yeah, anyway, we're still waiting for the DNO guy to turn up. He's going to basically come, pull these fuses, um, let us crack on and then come back and we're just going to leave our 150s here ready for him to put them away so that's quite cool we've got to upgrade this earth in because it's all 35 so we're going to upgrade it to 70 i think or 50. um i think it is 70 to be fair that's all spec by them everything's all spec for them we're just basically doing the works for them just because they don't do anything after here so yeah but for now we're probably going to start putting some crimps on the end of the cables just getting them prepped ready to uh be put away and uh, put into the trunk in so we'll get started on that right so while we're waiting for our date I'm just gonna prep some of these um, we've already done a couple I'm just gonna do the last two and show you the process so quite simple and um, there'd be a bit more to it if we was lugging up in situ but luckily we're not so I'm just gonna mark this edge here is sort of where the inside of the lug stops where your cables sit against so I'm just gonna line it up there a little mark on and then strip this back using the uh, Fisher Price. And then we have our bright wire. So now I'm just gonna slide that on, a little bit of copper showing, but once we you got the hammer mate, once we give it a little tap with a hammer. We should be all right. Nothing too crazy. We don't want to deform the lug or nothing. But yeah, that is that is sweet. So we've got a hydraulic crimper. We've got it set up with 150 jaws in. We'll just get it started. Ripped on. 
which is about there, yeah? Yep. Then Ryan's just going to push it in really tight while I've... There we go. Release hydraulics. And there we have one crimped 150. So now we're just going to slide a bit of this heat shrink over. This is the awkward size heat shrink, so it's probably a little bit too big. But the size below is a little bit too small, so it's not um, it's not great, but it still makes it look pretty, it still does a proper job. Just get this shrunk and then we'll do our black phase and then we are waiting on our DNO guy, unfortunately. But, um, once he comes, pulls the fuses, should be pretty plain sailing. Um, hour or so getting the cables in and bolted on and then um, whether he hangs around or whether he comes back later I'm not too sure but just have to see see what he's saying really they're quite busy people um, well they seem so anyway always got another job booked in Go. So yeah, the heat shrinks. Um, it's tight, but it just shows how it's a little bit oversized around this lug, where it's not quite gripping it how we want it to. But yeah, still nice and neat. So I'll get that out of the way now. We'll do the black one, and then we'll just wait it on them. <laughs> it's a great shout mate to be fair it's just whether it holds your one held yeah I see that one's held try warm this one up and do the same <laughs> that one don't want to do it sweet Right, so these are prepped, so we're just going to wait for our mate to turn up now and then we can get the fuses pulled and um, yeah, start getting these in and, and dressed in and connected up. So I was saying about how busy this trunking is, but when you look around the back, it's actually quite empty, like 50%, 40% uh, full maybe. So I'm hoping once we get these tails out, we can push all this to the back of the trunk in. Um, whoever's come and done these floodlights, They've pushed through and dragged all these cables out of the way and left it for us, I guess, to try and tuck them back in. So again, once the tails are out of the way, we'll try and get them back in um, and then use our tails in front of them, maybe. We'll see. Um, and then hopefully our tails fit through these CTs as well because they look super tight. But to be fair, these are just um, CTs for this board. The metering's done here, so as far as the DNO is concerned, they don't really care. It's just for maintenance, really. They're not using this for measurement. They use um, their approved one. So, yeah. Jeez. The old ceramic ones. These these nuts spin off the top and they snap, and then you've got a fucking bit of metal that people touch, which is obviously live. Which one fucking touch the push? Trying to tighten it up. I was like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Thinking, yeah, they must have been out to go. This is this is set to 200, um, so we'll have to crank yeah. that up. But yeah, they must have been under. Are we? Um, what was this change to? Their one, their 150s. What is this show? 315? Is it changing to? I thought it was 250s, but yeah, you might have more than me. me. It's all been designed by your man, isn't it? To be fair, yeah, my ass would fuck them, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. 
Speaker, still sounds on dirty or anything to me. Um, no, I'm next time. Uh, this job in OX, what, is, what are we changing to, um, KVA wise or to or fuse wise? Because uh, obviously, I ain't got this for some reason. We have a socket set in that box on the right hand side. Uh, no, sorry, mate. What's that investigation? Then just have a little work, is it? Head and they um look at flats and then maybe you just stick there on pa or six on power to get it all the time all the well you ain't covered they're going up in flames <laughs> you ain't covered and the build man's like kicking up on the way up you know, you're not you're not authorized you're in the HP you're not yeah head yeah. side either shouldn't be doing that but I'm usually okay as long as it's pretty safe but I don't really care like, yeah, no, yeah. I can't, I'm not police for fuck's sake right mate but well, we should have these in in an hour or so I reckon yeah um, and then it's the earthing, so you want that upgraded. Yeah, so all we care about is the first point of contact, which is this. It would obviously normally go for an isolator, but the ones just put in, you're gonna, oh yeah, they're, gonna, they're gonna straight through. I'm hoping we'll be able to bend them. Yeah, yeah. so all we care about is this point here. So what you do out of this is up to you, but obviously, we'll rule a farm if you want to run the same density yeah. or. Yeah, we'll you upgrade could probably, that and we'll upgrade the main one. And then yeah, well, so you're gonna, are you gonna double off? Or are you gonna go from 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 these days yet? Probably double. Well, probably yeah. yeah I that's what they've done, eh? Well, because that's their supplementary. This one here is a supplementary. That's for the T in the road. So you call yeah. that. So you're you're on the front one. Oh yeah, of course, because it's linked, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. I was thinking that. So all, all this, all that. Uh, did you ever see these? It's not to some people. Well, someone tried to use it as a fucking. I said you can't have it because you, you need a TT on the builders. Mm. I tried to use this. I go no. This is a network app. So this is. All this does is goes out, so the main comes down the main road, this cable tees into that, and they lay a stake a spike down in the road, and they don't even hammer it in, they lay it down because they're not underneath. That's just a fail safe for the neutral, because obviously it's PME. That's all it is, mate, literally not, nothing more to it. Um, but, do you ever drill down, mate? You've got a fucking yeah. a wizard eye, mate, because they're fucking bang straight through that <laughs> one. Well, I reckon that went on first. <laughs> For everything. Oh, how much? I mean, oh, it'd be interesting to you. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll just do exactly what they've done with that link and then we'll do again another one up and just yeah. make it easier. Yeah, you could probably run. Well, you're in the trunk anyway, aren't you? So. Yeah. Mm, it's just that you looped over on that. Um, so, what have you got? 150, so, yeah, 70 mil. Yeah, I've got 70 mil worth. Um, yeah. Um, what the is, I'll lose this here. I'll 
I'll loosely put the loosely up on the yeah. And then if you take it off, I didn't see anything. <laughs> Alright, let's go and see what we've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah
Um, but yeah, there's quite a lot of room around the back through and then we'll leave them here. We've also got to upgrade the earth in. So we're going to take an earth off of here, round up to our earth bar. And we've also got to make this bigger as well because it's a bit undersized. So yeah, we're going to crack on with that now. So we've got two of our three phases in, so we're just putting a little heat shrink round here just to denominate what phases they are. They're just loosely done, we'll get them talked up properly in a bit. We're gonna get this final one in. Um, it's all very, very tight, as you can see. Uh, get the final one in, get the neutral in, and then we just gotta mess around with the earth in and wait for Mate Boy to come back. So yeah, the, the struggle continues. one we want to try and get un under those two yeah
moment. Uh, yeah. That's it, isn't it? Mm. I've done it again. Pop it out. Can we, um... It's, I literally I'll just take five mil off. Could you just grab it? It will have some red eye crimps and stuff. Uh, no, it's in that toolbox, mate, that's already out on the left-hand side. Sweet. Yes, let's get that back on. Uh, got a small terminal, mate. Uh, we'll go for this end because we need to size it up. So that's going to be about there. And then if you bring that in, I don't know what they've done with that. <laughs> There's way too much. Must have maybe it's what was left on the drum or something. <clears throat> so we're up to there, yeah. There. Just rough. That's it, mate. Give it to you. Cool. Uh, you want this? There you are. Hate it when it does that. Twist that kink round. That's it. There we go.
we can. Right, so that's our three phases of neutral in, um, round, very, very tight, but yeah, in and just left with enough on for our mate to um, come and put him away. But now, um, DNA have specified that this is the first exposed part after the head and therefore it needs to be earthed the same as the main earth. So this has just been very neatly, but it's a pain for anyone who wants to maintain it, been put in like so. So we're gonna try and get this bolt off, well they've bolted it through the trunk in, get that bolt out, we're gonna put a new earth between that earth bar and this enclosure, and then also another earth for the installation for the main earth going onto that earth bar. So yeah, we're gonna crack on with that now. So let's get this off. Lovely over it, have a job, isn't it? on I oh, mate whoever's done this is an absolute wally maintainability of the installation I'm pretty sure there's a reg on that Ten, mate. What's that, mate? Socket set, mate. Uh, uh, from that earth bar, mate, to me. So, uh, 
probably go like that. Um, let's go through that lot now, because we're probably going to come... Yeah, we want to go through that. Lovely. Right, so now that can get worked in. Um, and that wants to go onto the top, mate, doesn't it? So you just. Oh, the one. Oh, was it. Where, what one was the top one? Was that the one to the board? Yeah. Whatever one it came off of, you're right, it was that one because that's what that's for. So yeah, Jack just wants to go on there, mate. Yeah. Do you want to. Is it pressing in around the back of them? Um, yeah, get it cut to size, we'll whip it back out, we'll send it around the back. Is that the one on that sort of band, yeah? Uh, send it out and then back on it, so that's it. that's it, mate, like that. Cut. That's all. All right, what can I what can I do for you? I just want to inform you that I got mistaken for you today. You got mistaken for me? Yeah. I can, I can see why, Steve. <laughs> I can see why. I get it all the time, mate. To be fair. What you get me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's getting round, mate. Yeah, but you, you, you want to don't don't wear that hat in your videos anymore, mate. You don't get stained for me, do you? No. <laughs> Ryan, bigger. Steve Hurley. Yeah, that's if you want to do that. That's Saturday, mate. I'm, I might do the Sunday, mate. All right. Yeah, I'll do you. Saturday. Yeah. The Sunday in that case, right? No, no. <laughs> right, that that, okay, that may mate. that may push it, but no. Cheers, Steve. All right, mate. See you soon. Bye, mate. See you, mate. Round the back like that, then. Yeah. You, buddy. Uh, do you want to go behind them as well? Nah, fuck it, mate. Fucking hell. Yeah. Lovely, and then we're going to need these. We need them in situ, aren't we? Yeah. Can you get it in there? Onto it, it should be easier. Yeah, is that on? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I've got that. Oh, no. Oh, Yeah. 
Basket digging into the arm. Yeah, Lee. Right, mate. So that is just going back round onto. Uh, that's it. So probably give it a bit of a haircut, a bit of a trim. Again. Yeah, loads, mate. Yeah, you can always trim it down again when you yeah. get once we get it in there. Lovely. Wants a bit of uh, sorry, mate. It's not that just wants pulling through wherever convenient. Phillips, right? Oh, yeah. one I'll just sort of do wherever it goes yeah. and then the next one I'll try and do is it tight to the collar yeah. okay that's it mate and then if you twist that to the left and then push it in not always oh that's right when you get used to it you can stop oh, you it you stop see it, yeah. Yeah.
Watch out, mate. Two. Three. Cool, so they're tightened up. Just going to um, do the earth bar as well, neutral bar. Cool. It's nice and tight. Right, so that's us that's all done. We've got our 150s in there, torqued up, neutrals on. That trunk in was super tight, um, super tight. But yeah, we're now just waiting for our man to come back to put them away. We're probably gonna pack up and get out of his hair anyway, just cause we got somewhere else to be. But I'm just gonna make sure he's all happy and then um, yeah, we can go. But that is, that is pretty much it. Um, it's about half 12. So considering we didn't start till about nine, it's not too bad. Um, earthing's been redone as well, so you've got 70 mil main earth and a 70 mil going to the panel, one to the panel there, and then one onto the earth bar on the inside of this trunk in, and then we've got this link as well, which we renewed in 70 for the meter cabinet. So yeah, that's all done. I'm just going to wait for mate boy, and then um, yeah, probably outro the video. Right, so that is it for today's video. Um, we're back at the industrial unit. We had to rush back here to meet someone, to go through some stuff. Um, so yeah, real, real tight time frame. As we were filming the last bits of um, that changeover as well, our DNO guy turned back up and he has a slot then to get his stuff done. So yeah, it was real, real tight. So a bit of a rush video, um, you know, not as much explanation and theory and all that sort of stuff, just cause I didn't have time, just got to crack on. But hopefully I got to show you enough to, yeah, make it interesting and show you what the crack was. Um, we're now back here for the rest of the day. Um, my brother's actually, we didn't even get to the point of turning it back on. So my brother's local, so he's now leaving his job to go back there to, once the fuses are in, to turn it all on, because the DNO don't do that. Um, so yeah, he's gonna do all that, do a quick test. We don't have to specificate anything, because it's before the main switch, it's nothing to do with us. Um, and they do their test results, their certification, and all their stuff is statutory um, and legal, as obviously all of our regs are just recommendations and stuff. So our stuff sort of still needs to be considered, but it um, accompanies their stuff and their sort of rules and regs take priority so um yeah he's going to do all of that my brother's going to come turn it all on get a zs just check everything's livened up and stuff and then he'll probably ring me to give me the okay but yeah we are here we just um a couple of hours left in the day just prepping for tomorrow so tomorrow's panel uh, build so that'll be a good video it might be out before this or after it i don't really know but yeah tomorrow we're going to be building the panel and then thursday which is the day after tomorrow we've got the dno coming here to isolate the transformer so that we can work in that panel and stuff so that'll be another good video too um, but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video for what it is the rushed sort of <laughs> madness that it was um, yeah i hope you enjoyed it if you haven't already please like subscribe and hit that bell button really really supports what i'm trying to do and i'll catch you next sunday at six